In the last video, we learnt about method parameters and return values. In this video, we will talk about the concept of pass by value. Java is pass by value or pass by copy. For example, a class t shirt having a method set size that takes a parameter of type char. When the method is called by passing a size, its value is copied to the parameter. So, the value of my size, that is, s is copied to the parameter size. Now, if someone changes the value of size inside the method, the value of my size will not change. We saw an example of pass by value when the method parameter is of a primitive type. What if the parameter is a user defined type. For example, a class t shirt painter has a method color it which takes a t shirt object as parameter. We will need to create a t shirt object first and then pass to the method. What happens now? Is a copy of object passed to the color it method? Does it change in the t shirt color inside method color it? change the color of my t-shirt object? If you remember, we don't put objects into a variable but a reference to the object. That means a copy of the reference variable will be passed to the color it method. Both references will in fact point to the same t-shirt object. When we use the copy of the reference variable to color the t-shirt object, my t-shirt object gets the color. Thus, Java passes everything by value. Let's recap. In this video, we learned that Java is pass by value or pass by copy. When a primitive variable is passed to a method, a copy of the variable will be actually passed. Do changes to the variable inside the method will not affect the original variable. When a reference variable is passed, same thing happens. A copy of the reference variable is passed which points to the same object. So, any changes to the object using the reference variable will affect the object. That means, a copy of the reference variable will be passed to the color it method. Both references will in fact, point to the same t-shirt object.